So let's look at this, this chart again. Over here is the healthy side. Healthy foods, you can see this here. Let me get over here and point to the right place. Muscles, we talked about muscles before and what happens if insulin resistance uh, occurs. Well, this new approach, this first line therapy approach that we have is going to reduce inflammation. And it's also focusing, as we said, is reducing the toxins in the body, reducing putting them in and also supporting the liver and the kidneys and the other organs of elimination to eliminate these toxins in a healthy way. When these toxins are reduced, then the places that they substituted on the cell membrane that would um, prevent insulin from attaching, no longer are they blocking that. So insulin will work more effectively on the muscles so we can burn fat and we can burn sugar more effectively. So we're decreasing inflammation and we're improving blood sugar and fat metabolism. So essentially what that does, that provides a healthy insulin message and healthy sugar transport function, healthy sugar transporter function. So this increases insulin sensitivity increases energy metabolism, increases sugar and fat burning by the muscles. So this healthy energy metabolism, this healthy burning, prevents the excess accumulation of fat in fat cells, prevents excess accumulation of fat in muscles, organs, and other tissues. Thus, it helps to prevent the lipotoxicity we've talked about so much, this fat toxicity, and thus we help to reduce the risks associated with this and obesity, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, fatty liver, and even more things. So there's a special SKRM, SCRM, it's called signaling therapy, which is integrated into this uh, first line therapy program and medical foods that helps to support insulin sensitivity healthy energy metabolism and helps to prevent lipotoxicity and these skirms are a key component that you do not find in other kinds of programs and they are quite effective. So this is uh, talking about insulin sensitivity of the muscle cells. The next thing we'll talk a little bit more about is insulin sensitivity of fat cells because that is how you achieve healthy metabolism.